Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be discussing curves and how they can manipulate your image. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your images, potentially pick one with a high contrast that you can create through curves, that is the main main uh, description of what it does. Um, once you've got your images, there are three different ways that I know, I'll show you them now. First one is image, and then you go to adjustment, third one down which is curve, that's one way of getting curves. The other one is here on adjustments as well, and it will be the one with the F curve, funnily enough, that's one way of getting to it. And then there's another way down here and it says curve. Click the little half sphere and you get curve. So I'm going to click that one and it's going to bring you up this little menu. This little menu is key to everything. It's going to show you how to manipulate the image and how the highlights and the shadows are going to look within the image. As you can see this is showing quite a harsh curve because there's a harsh blend of colour and not too much contrast between the blue, the white, the red and the city. So as you're going to see if I pull this down it gets darker. Once you pull it down the darks come out more and if you pull it up the lights come out more. As you can see I've created a very harsh contrast there. A bit too harsh for my liking, but this is the main main reason for curve. A lot of people use S curve and S, S shape to um, blend the image because that's usually what works best, but in some cases it won't work the best. So you might want to bring the highlights out in the image and dark guy. As you can see, if you pull it down too much, you are ruining the colors in the image because the contrast can't figure out what you want to see and it's creating a horrible blend. So I bring that back up like that and like that. That looks a bit better. I've picked it's quite a dark image really so it's going to be quite hard to manipulate the highlights in this one the highlights and the shadows but as you can see that's still creating quite a nice image. That's just the basics of curve. If you come to this little drop down menu here, you will see that you have a red, a green, and a blue. This is the color range that you have in the images. I'm gonna reset that now, and I'm gonna change my thing to red. As you can see, this is a little bit more harsh, the, the half tone curve. So if I wanted less red in the highlights, I could bring this down. As you can see, creating a cyan color in the sky, and it, maybe I wanted higher red here, but that's creating a bit of a more depth bit. As you can see this is creating a bit more uh, hazy colour and it's kind of getting rid of the effect in the sky so maybe I want to bring that down create just the image quite blue overall. By doing this I've created quite a good contrast between the sky here and there's a little bit of pink coming through and you can also see the city a bit better. Um, this is something you've got to play around with and you can manipulate yourself. So say I wanted to bring out some reds in the dark bending it like that I can create quite a, a ready outline of the image. Of course it doesn't look very good but in some cases you might need to do this. Um, curves are key to understanding highlights and tones within photographs. They are really good for photographers. If any of you photographers who are watching my videos you'll definitely want to implement this into your photos. I'm not saying your photos are bad but they can completely change the way they look and enhance them so this is something you definitely want to look into. So if I want to do this I could highlight the reds a bit higher, bring the reds and the shadows a bit darker and then we got a lovely bit of red coming through there and you can see all the lights in the city are highlighting up red a bit clearer than what they were before so if i reset this and i'll go to the green um there's not a lot of green in this image but as you can see when i pull it down it adds a really nice purple haze over the image by doing this i am able to get rid of the green in the shadows and just bring out a really strong purple it sort of blended the image a bit better and it's sort of overtaken the blue in the in the sky keeping the pink but making a nicer blend. If I back that up, see if I pull that highlight, okay, it's a really weird green, it's like alien invasion, not what we want. Um, I'll back that down. See, look at that. That's a lovely blend between the sky. Maybe a bit too harsh because it's sort of getting rid of it, but that, that is a lot better. Um, if I bring the green up, again, you can make the green outline around the screen, which is not something you really want. Um, but again, you don't, you want to avoid these flat spots like that because it completely ruins the images. Unless this is what you're going for. If you're creating a project where uh, you want an alien invasion in your image, then go for this. Um, let's move on to the next color. I'll reset that. The blues. Um, there's a lot of blue in this image, so if I want to bring out the highlights like that and then increase or decrease the shadows, bring out a little bit of black around the edges and really start to create my own type of image. By doing this, I am being a bit destructive by taking parts of the images and changing them but it's always something you can turn off just like that on the little eye icon if you don't like or you can reset it like that because I didn't like so I'm going to go to the blue uh, to go back to the RBG reset that if we go to the blue again bring it down and as you can see it's bringing through yellow into because it's 
when you bring it down, you're reducing the blues and you're bringing through the yellow to the CMYK. Most of you should know what the CMYK is if you're watching this, but if you don't, I will make a tutorial on that. Just leave it in the comments below and I will uh, I will get straight on it. As you can see, the yellow is coming through and then if you bring that back up, it's a little bit of blue in the yellow, just sort of blending it a bit better. This is all about manipulating your image. If you can get it to a point where you're happy with the blend, then you have won basically. So that's pretty much it to do with the colors. Um, I'm going to go back to the RB RGB and if you go to this little tool on the left of the box here you can pick the areas that you want the colors to come through as you can see there's our red green and blue but I don't really like that it's a bit too dark it sort of pinpoints what you want yourself like that you might not like that but if you can go onto a gray spot you might be able to find something you like there is also the setting at the top where you can create a point at the top you can bring it down and then if I go down to the gray on the building here you can bring it up just to create a higher contrast like even though that's a bit harsh it still looks quite nice um and maybe I want to bring it down a little bit bend the s a little bit more bring this one up a bit like something like that so as you can see if I turn this off we've just dramatically increased the image and made it look a bit better um, these are just small adjustments that you can do to make your image cleaner and more look more professional um, some of you may be thinking it's the same as the levels but the levels are just about darks and whites this is about color and contrasting and actually blending the two together so that's all for this image um, I'm gonna move on to the next one now, so I'll catch you there. Right, we're at our next image. Um, again, I'm gonna use the curves just to show it on a bit of a different colored image. I'm gonna convert this to a smart object so I don't distract the image. Um, I'm gonna choose curves, and again, it's come up with the same menu. Now we've got our curves menu open, I'm gonna use this tool at the top this time just to pinpoint where I want the color. So maybe I want the highlights to go down a bit there to increase the, uh, the blue. And maybe down here, I want the lights to go up, which isn't sometimes it's not going to work you've got to be a bit patient with it maybe i want it all dark maybe i just want some blue coming out as you can see what we've done here is we've created a bit more of a dramatic effect so darkening the image can bring out all the light bright colors that you have in your image um let's reset this and we'll go to a color and see if we can reduce the blues because there's quite a lot in this image in the shadows do that do we have a much more yellow effect and we'll increase the highlights look at that we've got really contrasting yellow with the blue me personally i do not like this but it's just another effect that you could do. If you're trying to churn out different images for your project or whatever you're doing, then you can do these adjustments and it will dramatically increase the file, like the amount of uh, variations you have, which is something you need sometimes when you need to show a client or something work. Loads of different versions, just so you can show that you've got loads of different ways of work. As you can see, this is a bit too red. It's creating a, like, not a very a broken effect with the color. You might like this, this might be what you're going for, but me personally, no. I'm gonna go to the green now. Not a lot of green in this image, even though when I pull it along, you can see it does create quite a nice effect. Uh, if I bring that down, still bring that over there maybe down a bit we'll get a nice purpley effect purple blends well with the blue color and um, this is the main thing we are trying to create here is a blend and this is something you should be striving to achieve really with uh, curves because that is the main that's the main reasoning for it just to enhance the image blend and make sure the colors fit well as I, I i've chosen quite a nice color range there i quite like that it's a bit maybe a bit too dark in areas it's creating a bit of a bit of a blur but quite nice so you can see all the colors there's a bit of purple coming down on the buildings on the side and it's still keeping the blues enhanced and you can still read everything there's a bit of flare on the cars but that can add into the overall effect of the image um, as I said there is many ways of doing this and different color ranges different tools that uh, uh, pencil you can just pinpoint where you want to go if I leave it on the purples now and I go to the half tone and sort of increase the highlights maybe darken it a bit and then increase the highlights when you come up here so you just so now the building's got a bit darker but it's still like you can see the the light coming from all the all the different tv screens it's like blending in with the image this is something you want well something you should want if you are trying to create a complete image um i am gonna just undo that though i'm gonna go for a dark this again oh, this again is getting rid of the image but now we don't have the purple here. It depends what color scheme you want. You can try all the different ones and you'll get like about six different
different colour overlays uh, by doing this but depending on what you want you can manipulate the image just how you need so all the buildings are dark the yellow the orangey sign is coming through really nicely you see all the light reflecting off the images and still keeping the highlights in check so maybe if I just increase that a little bit or bring it back so you, you just completely get rid of the buildings there and you can only see the lights maybe that's something you want as I said it's trial and error if I bring it up it gets, makes it really light not really what I want because it's a night image so if I bring it down a little bit bring the highlights up a little bit it creates a really nice contrast between the image um, and that's about it really there are many other adjustment layers that I have to show you but if you just let me know in the comments which ones you want to see and I will get on to making a video about them I, I'm gonna make a video on all the important ones I think first and then I'm just gonna take your suggestions and I will make a video on it so thank you for watching please leave a comment comment, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.